Rangers ease past on non-athletic and comfortable Scottish Cup victory. A much-changed Rangers side cruised into the Scottish Cup quarter-finals with a commanding 3-0 win over a non-athletic at Galebank. Fit again defender Philip Hellander headed in the Jers opener after seven minutes before attackers Kima Roof and Fashion Sakala added further goals in the first half to end any hopes of the League Two side providing a shock. Anon manager Peter Murphy had said the light blues would have failed if they did not put four or five goals past his side, but it may well have been that, and more as Giovanni van Bronckhorst's side negotiated the foul weather, an artificial pitch as well as a battling home side with consummate professionalism. The last time Rangers travelled to Anon was in 2013, when they met in the third division as the light blues began making their way back through the leagues after re-emerging in the bottom tier following financial meltdown. This time the Ibrox men arrived in Anon as champions of Scotland, but boss Van Bronckhorst changed the whole team following the midweek win over Hibernian. Notably on loan Juventus midfielder Aaron Ramsey made his first start, Hellander featured for the first time in five months after recovering from a knee injury, and there was a debut for Matis Zukowski, the new signing from Lecce Gdansk. Peculiarly, Anon, fourth in League Two, named manager Murphy, assistant Colin McMenamin and goalkeeping coach John Connolly among the 11 substitutes allowed. Amid the swirling wind and rain, the visitors took a nerve-calming early lead when Hellander powered in a header from a Borna Barisic corner after his header from a first corner had been cleared off the line by Dominic Docherty. Moments later, Barisic's curling free kick from 25 yards was palmed away by diving on on keeper Greg Fleming as the visitors took control, with Ramsey and Roof both missing the target with drives. Conditions deteriorated but Rangers improved their advantage in the 22nd minute when Roof guided in a second from 20 yards after taking a Scott Wright pass. Sakala soon struck the bar having been set up by Zukowski and Anon midfielder Tony Wallace volleyed over John McLaughlin's bar. Then Ahmad Diallo sent the Zambia International racing down the left channel and he unexpectedly hammered the ball over Fleming's head and into the far corner of the net, albeit there was doubt as to whether it was a cross or a shot. Just before the break Ramsey had the ball in the net with a clever close-range finish from a Steve Davis cutback, but the offside flag was up. The second half produced less action. Anand's Cammy Clark came close with a low drive from distance on the hour mark just before Rangers brought on Jack Simpson, Leon King and Alex Lowry for Ramsey, Hellander, and Davis. In the 67th minute, with the jeopardy, having left the match, Diallo skimmed the bar with a 20-yard drive before he left the field with Sakala. The duo were replaced by Cedric.